Yeah, what do you call these things? I mean, they're their own names. That's pretty cool looking, actually. Uh, what is this in the middle? Interesting. I have a thing we're gonna find out later. And you guys. Man, he looks all day compared to that guy and that thing. Dual rotors? I don't have to call dual rotors, maybe. Yeah, let's talk to, uh, Lara Nala. Or, Alara Nara. Sure. Oh my, you guys turning me, turning you little me for help? You're making me blush. Oh, I bet I can, well, I bet I'll teach you. I'll teach you everything I, everything you want to know. You earn battle points as ba as your base level and ranks rise. You can spend those points to upgrade your skills and arts anytime you like. You can either upgrade your, your arts to learn everything techniques or upgrade skills to your overall power, power. It's totally up to you. I wonder what your blade you're going to become. Mm, mm, such possibilities. Yeah. Okay. I just squat. Sorry, but the transfer has been granted for maintenance. We should be moving again soon. All right. No blade. I'll say. I'll say it before, and I'll say it again. This ain't Earth. Don't expect that you'll be. You'll be able to trust your instincts. Ah, that's a good point. That's a valid point. I might just go over blade tower. 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 Alright, let's look to you. Sir. I guess let's inquire X X Stila about Charson. Here's what I know. We officers are aware that not all of uh, not are not all of new LA citizens are on board with the Director General Car Charson's policies. But the move, but the move, but the more we allow our deals to enslave us, the glamour our situation will become, or the glimmer our situation will become. Hopefully, some bikes who opportunity still present itself eventually, and you've got the look of someone who just might be able to accomplish that. All right. If you if you are ever ready to uh, to be the opportunity, let me know, and I'll sign I'll sign you something important. All right. Anything else? Let's discuss. If you're, are you familiar with the continent comprised of nothing, uh, nothing but wastelands far to the east of New LA? Not really. We receiving reports of of not naturally occurring structures in that region. Okay. We need to find some answers about who built these structures and what became of them, and do it fast. I can do that. I guess I'll have to post a mission for the past fire division. Dot dot. All right, and let's go look at this guy now that we know that discussion and query are different things. Hi, hi again. Uh, let's discuss. Ask Lauren, ask Lauren Nora if he has any interesting news. I heard there was a stalled skill in the Red Digital District, so I went to see for myself. And would you believe it? A real looker of a blade was standing up beside me. He was, uh, he was just my type. I wonder if I could get Badham to coincidentally assign us both the same mission. <laughs> da -da. Okay, I'm just going to casually run away, very quickly. I was going to say walk away, but nah. Uh, I should have done that. I should have done that. All right. Actually, let's look around, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Nicious. Let's just let me to look at this real quick. Uh, 
I mean, I wonder, you probably, oh, Mel Stuff member, our new ALA falls, that's, then that's it for Mandy. Fortifying senses has to be our absolute top priority. Uh, I wouldn't say be it for everyone, it's just, I wouldn't say it's for everyone, because remember, there were other colony ships, but who knows what became of them. I mean, the, uh, the enemy caught up to us, so, and we were looking at the crash end on this random pilot planet, so that's better than nothing. All right. Oh, I, I touched that. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's get moving. Wait a second. Will I, no, can I get that? I wonder if I can get his helmet. I probably should. I probably will. All right, so not the front door. We're not allowed to go in the front door. I'm pretty sure she said go around the road or around, but oh well. Listen. No blade. Every cargo ship engine has weaknesses to something. For example, flame-based attacks are particularly effective against steroids. Very good. Yeah. I'll just need to do. And then, female blade. Your accuracy improves when attacking furrows from behind. It's also easier to hit their hit the weak points. You must always pay attention to positioning when you fight. Got it. All right. So even our guns do do stuff against their backs. Yeah, she is. Mill blade. Next time. Oh, can go that way. Mill blade. Next time our team's. I know. One. Next time our team's going to be one. One to find a survivor. I'm tired of being shown up and stuff. Yeah, right. Uh, let's take this. There you go. Oh, asking Axis Unite, eh? Yeah, we don't have enough field skill. Alright. Alright, Ellie, eh? We're Elliot, we still need to buy stuff, okay. Working hard? Uh yes, yeah, so that's that's truth about the residents of NLA. Huh. Sea's economy is finally swimming to life and customers are swarming to Omri Alley. I must admit I'm worried about our future when we were attacked by an unknown enemy and and had to crash land on this dangerous world. The well, humans are tenacity. Humans are tenacity creatures. It's hard not to appreciate that when you, when you see a level of energy on display here. I'd rather be a part of this than a mere observer. So it better. So I better get to work. All right. Now one more thing. That's what's about recent developments. Wonderful. Did you see the Director General's broadcast earlier? Apparently, they discovered 10 new crew members. At this rate, the survey of Mira that's been stalled for so long, I, I'll probably be able to resume soon. That was, that, that sure was a leak to hear. Yeah. All right. Is he the only one? Yeah, probably. Hey. Oh, female blade. Any blade that can use a stemmerel can purchase new weapons and protective and protective wear. And that's actually Vera. What? That's for uh, uh for opinion about xenoforms. <laughs> well. After the horrible fate that befell Earth, some humans have canters and all xenoforms. Understandable. But as a scientist, I, I'm, I'm always eager to see examples of life forms who acquire intelligence through different evolutionary paths. Well, I understand they they found ruins throughout this planet that suggest intelligent life existed here here previously. I always relish opportunities to encounter the unknown. What about you? Yeah, I do too. What? And the other one? 
As for about recent developments, I may be a rough and tumble blade, by, but believe it or not, I was once studying to be a biologist. When I was a student, I was always off on one cross-country trip after another, doing field work with, with my professor. I diverse jungle, jungles and deserts hunting for rare animals and fossils, dot dot. And when we find one, I, we jump up and down with glee, like children, ha! My first is stayed back at behind at Earth, or behind on Earth, but I know he's been thrilled to come here and see all the see all the identified species on Mira. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, get over here. And what was this? All right, my factory is a good thing. Aren't, it, aren't there any worthy blades anywhere, or wealthy blades anywhere, who are willing to donate resources to the arms manufacturers? I'll really step up the creation of new equipment. Or that will really, step, that will really step, step up the creation of new equipment. Is that new? Mm -hmm. Ask Taylor about this about it, about this building. This is where arms manufacturers are based. The building is for all companies that are involved with research, development, and sale of weapons and armor for blade. Ah, but you're not a blade yourself, are you? Forgive me, I assume you were officially re re registered by the way you were armed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that, uh... Yeah, I guess that's easy. I get that. Because, I guess, I guess that could be confusing. Alright. Female mechanic. So, Rocco gear isn't so bad. Their stuff is high in accuracy and stability, at least. Although it tends to be pretty weak to certain attribute techs. You have to remember that, that's probably true when it comes to actual equipment. Alright. And then you. Hi. Right. What? Ask her about the gate. Oh, this is the other gate. Yeah, probably. Oh, was it Westgate? Great. Oh, yeah, this one. That gate over there, the east one? Can you believe how long it's been sent? It's been sealed? This is really getting to be a hassle. Huh? You want to know why people can pass through the west gate and not the and not this east one? Well, New LA is just the re is this residential unit of the ship. That's been hastily reconstructed into a city. It wasn't exactly built with ease of access in mind. The west gate entrance is where the passage to Whitewell's maintenance management area used to be. All right. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Anybody? No. Oh, are you the new Discover crew member? You are, aren't you? Hey, welcome to New LA. Thank you. All right. So that part was that was you no know, that was the you know that was that connected to the rest of the ship. I assume it would be the aft part of the ship, the back part of the ship. Uh, and then this one is the forward part, maybe. All right. So yeah, I mean, originally thought this you know New LA was the colony module. Not just the not just the residential module. I thought you know I thought this was supposed to be dropped off from the planet and the ship was staying over it, if everything happened successfully. However, you know the ship kind of exploded and landed in pieces on Mira. So I guess instead of oh he's backing up, I guess instead of having uh, one big ship, uh, I mean the ship may have never been. I guess the ship was never meant to land anywhere. Uh, or at least if it was, it was not meant to be like this. Or maybe it was meant to stay in orbit and, you know, create a colony, you know, from orbit, not just from that. All right, okay, that's where we need to go, but we still got people, we still got people to talk to. And if not sleep it, I like that guy. Go you drive. Well, at least we know where the mix are kept. Okay, Walter. Uh, you know what? We'll come back here later. Cause we, you know, remember, we kind of need to go. Nope, ah, my bad. Uh, we kind of need to go talk to. Uh, you know, kind of need to go with the mission. Oh, I guess he was switching crews. Yep, the mech was switching crews. I guess the guy inside the mech was. No, no, the the pilots are changing shifts. Um, my little thing in there. You go. Okay, Shola, or Shorila. Oh, have you come the, to see the town helper? I'm sorry, what? 
you don't know who the town helper is? It's me, silly. I met a, I met a, I met a -er. I'm, oh, I'm a meditator. But I, some, I started dabbling on the side, on the side. I'll teach you, I'll teach weapon skills, offer equipment tips, build lost items, give life advice, da da. Folks started calling me the town helper. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like it to be honest. All right. No blade sounds like the gates aren't being opened yet. It's so inconvenient. Yeah. And so it's not the way to go. We can, get, we can talk to you. Or right, listen to you. East gate is sealed. If you want to head outside, you have to go to the west gate. All right. Hey. Help. Oh. You know, blade. I killed an engine the other day, and I and a weapon pops out of its belly. Now I will we now you will wield in in combat and order my comrade that the monster killed. All right, so it's not just me that that's happening to, eh? <laughs> All right, go. There you go. Oh, play headquarters. Uh, metal mechanic. Ah, oh, man, nothing beats squealing through the wide open fields of Primoria. You guys gotta get your license, your skill license post haste. All right. Squirrel, eh? We gotta, figure out, we gotta figure that out later, what that is. It's, it's obviously a vehicle of some sort. So, yeah. Barracks. Yep, this took us all day. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. All right, thank you. Oh, uh, sure, interesting about 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 asking about the registration. I think I can answer that one. So you must be the latest rescue. I kind of am. Secretary Nagi. Miss Ku. Chipper as always, I see. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight I should know? No. Nothing to worry about. Good. Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma. You found another one. Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, as for officially registering our new citizen here... Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis oh, of your journey back to us. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. I mean, nice. As long as it's ice and sweet, none of that hot stuff. None of that very hot stuff. I hate that. I hate that stuff. It's terrible. I don't understand how many countries do it. I mean, they don't know. They don't know the. They don't know the purity of that is sweet iced tea. And how awesome it is. Nice hole save you got there. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. And you may remember me as captain of the White Whale. Now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New LA. Ah. The provisional government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. All right. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. Yeah. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what? Two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. 
All right, well, come in. Where should we begin? From the beginning, up most likely. Okay, this is the okay. This is the official. Uh, uh, this is the official. Um, you know, showing you that we got stuff. All right. Uh, let's ask how we ended up a mirror. It started at the end two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper advanced alien civilizations. Yep. Want to see this thing again? Their yes. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. That's unfortunate. I still wonder if I hadn't been there. Maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, have been no Project Exodus and no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here and we are alive. We survived. Yep. <laughs> Let's see so at least. So yes, Project Exodus. It's an extinct place. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. Ah. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project. Otherwise known as Project Exodus. That's all that was lost and they should have exploded. They're for a part. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission. Find a habitable planet and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again, and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The yep. ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Yeah. Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. All right. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Right. So you guys see that part. All right, so uh, speaking of Blade, what is it? Blade is an acronym. Ah. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. Yeah, it is. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. Right. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. Ah. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. Right. Fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now, we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. Survival? The search for and recovery of the life hold. Ah. What are those? Take a look at this. Let's see. The White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers. All of them held in stasis. Right. All housed in a structure called the Life Hold. Uh. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. All right, everyone that here. Of course, here. some military, so we could defend ourselves if necessary. 
but the vast majority were in the life hold. Are in the life hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. Yep. But there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Yeah. A little functional. Slade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Right. Do we know what they look like now? Or do we not? I don't think we do. Alright, no satisfied restrictions. That's that's not good either. Uh, but at least you know, it, it, maybe they were built to break apart and they were, maybe they were built, built to break apart and actually drop pods and just survive landing like that. Uh, or at least we can help. Okay, now let's ask about res registration. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. Right. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I do. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. Right. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Koo, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district. Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. Alright. Alright, so mission chapter one. Details. Alright, Kalyan and Nagi. Classification, Blade Barracks, Summary. Take a guide tour of Blade of the District with Lynn and Emma. And learn more about the light life as a member of Blade. I can do this. Hey, that looks like the Barracks Interior. We discovered Blaze Barracks. Alright, now we're going to get out of here. Oh, right there. I'm going to destroy walking a little bit. Okay, shit. okay, this is our first, this is our first official mission in uh, Chapter 1. Or, well, first official mission, I think. Uh, and you know what? You know what? We'll do that next time because, well, oh, we're gonna be out of time in 10 minutes, and yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really liking this game. This game, you know, this game's an odd, you know, this game's an odd mesh of both Xenoblade Chronicles and Xeno Saga. And maybe Xeno Gears, and maybe Xeno Gears as well. Uh, it's just a really odd mix. It, it works really well, and I'm glad that they did it for, like, the fans of the entire Xeno series. So you're just saying by Chronicles, which is the game, this is, which is this game's namesake and, uh, you know, this game's namesake and, you know, spiritual successor to. So I guess this game's also a spiritual, spiritual successor to Xeno, uh, to Xeno Saga as well. Uh, or at least it might be. And we're going to stand, uh, where do we want to stand? Uh, about right here with this guy, there we go. With the, uh, old captain. Or, yeah, with the old, with the... Uh, with the with the old captain, yes, that, that that just you know I don't mean older than he is old. I mean older than he used to be the captain. Yes, the former captain, I guess is what I guess is what I'm looking for. Yes, the former captain. But yeah, this game, you know, this game, uh, I'm like I'm loving it so far. Again, yeah, it's a very odd, you no, know, it's a very interesting combination between Xeno Saga and Xeno Blade. Uh, basically, like basic like basic gameplay and you know just elements are from Xeno Blade. However, like the story and like, like the mechs are from uh, Xeno Saga, uh, especially the fight scenes. You know the fight scenes when you see the mechs flying around; those are kind of ripped straight out of Xeno Saga. Yeah, no, they're not one for one cutscenes from Xeno Saga. No, I mean the just general feel of those battles is from Xeno Saga. And just the general feel of the game and how the characters look, because the characters have those big eyes just like in Xeno Saga, uh, and just how they and just overall aesthetic are very similar to Xeno Saga as opposed to Xeno Blade. Xeno Blade had more of a scrap together feel. This game is more of a high tech feel. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's def it, you know, it's definite, you know, it's uh, uh you know, it, it's the mix between those games. I'm not quite sure about Xeno, 
uh, Xeno Gears. Uh, I haven't, you know, I've yet to see anything from Dino Gears, but I can get it on the PS3 actually, because it's in the PS3 store. And the PS1 Classic, so I can get it on PS3, so I might do that eventually just to see what it is. Um, or oh, maybe I'll look up, or maybe I'll try to find a playthrough or, like, or a movie of uh, Xeno Gears, because I just can never. I, I, when I originally looked for Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga, I could never find, I could never find a good series on Xeno Gear. So maybe I need to find that series. Who knows? So we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I, I have to use the Blade Chronicles first, so. Uh, and then the Xeno Saga as well, because, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you can get for like, you can get Xeno Saga for, no. Well, I mean, it's your average price for a, a game that, you know, a good game on the PS2. So we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm I'm loving Xenoblade Chronicles, and I'm glad you guys are loving it too. Because even though I'm not making any money off of this, it's still nice to see you guys watching this series. And at least you know it's you know, I mean, again, at least you guys are enjoying. It, and that's all that really matters to me is how much you guys enjoy these videos, uh, and how much that also matters is how much I'm enjoying these videos as well. Because I won't be I won't be doing this if I didn't enjoy it. I mean. Uh, I, you know, I will, I, you know, like, I will, no, I, I'll still do series that I don't enjoy, but if you guys really like, so, yeah. Um, uh, but I really haven't found a situation where, I haven't, you know, I never ran into a situation yet, so that's gonna know. Um. Uh, so, yeah, I mean. Uh. You know, uh, and uh, I, I'm glad you guys enjoying the series. And even though, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I, I think that, uh, I think that, I think that Nintendo is going to update the creators program whitelist to include this game, or at least I would hope so. But until then, you know, it, it this is a free series, so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy it, because you know, I mean, now I'm not playing it again. Uh, I'm still gonna play this game. Every, I'm gonna play this game a lot on camera and still, you know, you know, though, even though basically I'm just basically we're donating to Nintendo at this point, uh, but which is not too terrible as Nintendo's a good company, despite that, you know, despite what you say about Nintendo, but yeah, it's just how it is. And I mean, Nintendo can always revert to the or Nintendo can always change their mind and make and make a sir and make it. So you, I make it so, so you can so make I make it so you know it's free you know I make it so people can monetize their videos without having to do the program, uh, just like most companies nowadays. I mean, Nintendo's really the only holdout. I, I, I guess other than Rockstar, but Rockstar kind of changed their ways because Rockstar used to be a whole a huge component of uh, limiting YouTubers, uh, whether it be limiting to cutscenes or just limiting monetization and stuff like that. I actually used to be bad about it, but now, and Nintendo, well, Nintendo used to be, at, basically before the creators program, Nintendo had a gray area, and that gray area, and that gray area was YouTube videos, uh, like, there's no real way to tell, no, they, they, they never really decided until now whether or not they wanted people to record them or not, but now that they allow people to record them, I'll be it with the creators program, and all that entails but you know it 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 it, it works the system works when it when they when they update the whitelist it works because right now you know it doesn't recognize it, no right now when i try to verify th these videos it doesn't recognize them as nintendo games uh which is unfortunate but they can always change that and they can always you know make it make it so you, make it so you can monetize videos without having to worry about the partnerships which i really hope they do uh because that'd be really nice and you know, I, I guess they don't have to. It'd just be really nice if they did. Uh, because YouTubers are, you know, YouTubers do show off games for. F uh, no, the YouTubers do advertise for their for the respect for the respective game companies and publishers for free. Uh, as in the respective game publishers and companies don't have to pay uh, for advertisements. Uh, well, don't have to pay for YouTubers to advertise for them unless they want to, of course. I also want to sponsor the YouTuber, then they can do that. 
um, like what Microsoft's been doing with, over the last year with various game series, uh, series that they have. So yeah, I mean they can, but you should, but it, it, it is free, it is free um, advertising and yeah. But you know it, it you know it's, it's Nintendo. Nintendo's always been, you know, Nintendo's always been, you know, doing the old ways. I mean even now with the Wii U, the Wii U. You know, the internet works on the Wii U is, you know, or how, you know, I mean, the internet interactions is, well, it's not, it's not, it's not Xbox Live levels or even PS3 le or even PlayStation Network levels, but it is better than the 3DS. The 3DS is better than the Wii, the Wii's, well, the Wii's where they got started. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, the, the uh, internet interaction is fine, uh, even though I don't use it because I don't have any friends on on the, uh, the Wii U anyway, uh, but it's definitely, you know, it, it definitely has improved, and the shop's really good, and, yeah, even though you can't, you know, uh, you can only, even though on the eShop you can only download, you know, you can only download something you bought, you, something you bought on that console, you cannot, basically you cannot go from, you cannot use your account to download stuff, you have to download it on that console, which is unfortunate, which means if you lose that console, or something has, or something happens to that console, you have to buy it over again on a new console, which is unfortunate. But you know, it's just a ten on it. They're learning, they're learning slowly but surely. They're learning, hence the Wii U having the U in the name. Uh, I mean, the Wii U is just—it's a really good console. It's just, you know, not as powerful as the Xbox One or PS3. Uh, but as you can see, it's the job done, despite the fact that people pop in all the time. Uh, but then again, not many games could probably handle what Xenoblade, what Xenoblade Chronicles X can, you know, does. Uh, so yeah. Alright, but I thought you were long enough, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching all this feeling, or watching these episodes, even if that's me. You also have to be too late, but come on, then, then we'll try to try to make sure it's just for a series like watching your next episode, and I'll play Xenoblade Chronicles X in general. Even if I know that, still me ask comments, still me ask comments, we will let you know what's And that was time, and I guess... See you in a second!